So what do you think that signals about um, Janet's intentions here? I mean, she had an opportunity to, um, you know, just just issue less. And instead, she she decided to introduce some very subtle yield curve um, management. So what direction yeah. so I don't did she, did she I don't, try to make? No? Okay. Yeah, I don't think she was really intentional in this way in that coupons still came down a lot, about 100 billion from the prior quarter. And that's a lot less coupons, but she was more concerned of the proper functioning of the yield curve and still wants supply out there and QT hadn't been specifically dealt with. So I think at the high level, she reduced coupons. She didn't reduce them anywhere near as much as she could have. And the most important thing is she's now and this is a this is a war chest building idea. Um, when you reduce bills, that means the money markets are starved for assets. Where do they go when they need assets and bills aren't available? Well, they go to deposits typically. Um, they don't go out the yield curve or buy equities or anything. They need short term money because their clients may redeem at any moment for their money. Um, so they can put money at banks, but banks um, a year ago were told they didn't that the Fed didn't want them to suck up the deposits anymore when they didn't extend the um, supplemental um, leverage requirement. Um, and so what's happened is all of that money has now gone into the reverse repo program of the Fed. And mm -hmm. so that number is now two trillion, just shy of two trillion dollars. And those are people that want bills and can't get them. And so to me, that is a war chest that can be tapped at any time um, that Yellen has. Um, she's already paying the interest too. Um, the Fed pays essentially um, Fed funds. It's not exactly, but essentially Fed funds. And so is now paying 75, 80, 90 basis points on the RRP facility. Um, and that money is paid by our taxpayers. The Fed, it flows through to the from the treasury. And so, and that's higher actually than what bills are paying. So she could issue bills and pay less. Um, so it's very, uh, uh, it's, it, I haven't yet figured it out, but it's definitely a war chest, which could be- Well, unleashed. I guess there's a couple of different reasons, right? Like, um, well, not, I'm sure there's more than two, but one is obviously, is she concerned about um, potential deficit, um, oh, what do they call it? Um, when they put a cap on debt issuance, they go through this sure. battle every- Sure. Yeah, because, the, sorry, debt the debt ceiling? The debt ceiling, yeah. So is she yeah, worried okay. about maybe more more battles there? And is she also trying to maybe the prepare TGA for QT? That What's that? I think the TGA addresses fear of a, uh, <clears throat> a um, change in the composition of Congress and more difficulty getting budgets passed and um, debt ceilings um, um, increased. So I think the TGA, the right. TGA staying large is is preparing for such a thing. Um, the RRP, the only way they can tack, um, get that is by issuing. Um, and they don't need the money. That's the interesting thing. As long as nominal growth continues to be higher than their nominal cost, cost of interest, which is like 2% now, we will see a, without additional deficit spending, budgetary deficit spending, we'll actually continue to see a reduction in the net supply of, of bonds that the government issues. Um, and so it's it's an interest. We're in an interesting point. They 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 have all this two trillion dollars. Um, they have the Fed that is, you know, rolling off its holdings, and yet they continue to issue coupons to finance a falling deficit. At some point, that's going to run out, and that um, and that um, that will be a meaningful um, turn potentially. Inflation better be low by then because releasing any of this um, pent up um, money that in um, to suck up bills and reduce coupons would have an asset inflation and thus wealth effect impact. So she has to be really careful when she pulls that lever that, you know, inflation's in our rearview mirror. 
Um, but who knows when that'll be? I think you can keep very close track of it and know. And I think that's why that's the signal. That's the the flow information that I think is dominating markets since COVID bottom. And this is gotcha. now the element. This is now the trans mechanism. Um, transmission mechanism the fed has said what they're not going to buy and that's unlikely to change in the near term or even in the long term um and so it all depends on issuance 